next guest is the chef and co-host of the hit show, The Kitchen. She is here with some delicious appetizers for our holiday parties. Please welcome Katie Lee Beagle. Hey. Katie Lee. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. I am excited that you're here, too. I'm so glad I'm finally meeting you. Yes. But before we start, Katie Lee, we're going we're gonna to meet our guests at the tasting table. So we got Hi. Kathy mm -hmm. and we got Terry. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Terry. And you know, Marco G never turns down an opportunity. I'm not always ready for some food. <laughs> he is always That's ready. How I am. I'm always ready to eat. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. uh, Katie, what are we serving? We are going to have some great holiday party appetizers. Okay. And a little drink to go with it. Yeah, too. we need a little drink. And these are all make ahead, which is what I really like for holiday time. Yeah. Because you're busy, you know. So I'm going to make some sausage balls here. Okay. These are like a classic Southern recipe. I'm from West Virginia. And we always did it just with breakfast sausage and baking mix, but I'm jazzing them up a little bit. So okay. I've got half Italian sweet sausage, half Italian hot sausage. Oh, this sounds good. All and right. And then we're just going to add our baking mix to it. Okay, just if the you baking start mix. start stirring in here. Okay. And I'm going to add some freshly grated Gouda cheese. You could use cheddar mm. cheese. I like any, Gouda. I like that Any kind of hard cheese yeah. that you have. So you're putting in the Gouda. Yes. And the key to this is to be sure that you use freshly grated because you need the moisture. Like if mm -hmm. you buy it in the bag, yeah. it's a little drier because you don't actually put any milk or any or liquid anything in, in this you gotta mix. Now, yeah. you know, tell me something, because when I watch the kitchen, you guys are always eating on the show. Yeah, we eat a and lot. Well, we have parsley. a lot of... Yeah, you do, and you keep your figure. You look so good. Oh. Now, we're doing a lot of I eating. I try. No, you do. I can see it right <laughs> now. You got nothing yeah. on you, girl. <laughs> it's not I love the same it. since I had a baby. I'll tell you. Now, it's having that baby, that, that'll change you look, up a little oh, bit. Oh, it, it definitely changes things a lot. Yeah, so, well, this is the question, because I want to go to the mm -hmm. baby. So when you, and we're going to keep on going. When you like, I'm cooking now. Well, I'm not cooking. I'm eating everything that everybody <laughs> makes. How do I keep, like, how do I eat and still, okay. like, keep something? I, I gave myself a rule a, a long time ago when we started doing the show because mm -hmm. I used to just eat everything. All right, so once they get mixed, you mix them into balls and you okay. paint them with a little cream here. Mm. I would, and, and don't wear bell sleeves. That's also a... Okay, a don't wear... <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, what I do is I limit myself to two bites on the show of each thing that we're making. Okay, so, can we add a I, one in front of that too? Because that <laughs> it two used bites. To, it used to be that I would eat everything, and then I'd be like sick by the end of the day. Oh, I don't get so sick, but things. I can eat everything. But I don't. <laughs> make them and they come out like this. You can put these oh. in the freezer as is, and then so just this double is what the they baking look time. Like? That's what they come out like. Oh man, and yes. they're already ready. Yes, this looks nice good. and cheesy. Oh wait, goodness. taste yours so I can find yeah, out. Yeah, Kathy and Terry, how are they tasting? Delicious. Yeah, I love it. Delicious. You like the sausage and the gouda? Yes. A little glass of champagne, you know. That's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. but... All right, so we've got crab toast here. Crab toast. This is a must for us. We always have this on Christmas Eve. My husband and I make it good. together. Mm -hmm. So we start with some mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. And we're going to add to it some lemon juice. Okay, three bites. I got and... to <laughs> I've got some Fresno chili. Mm -hmm. And I've got some garlic. Ooh. And a little bit of parsley going in. Nice. A little salt. Four bites. A little pepper. Okay. <laughs> The sausage roll counts as one bite. Good. You're just, I'm you about know, to have like five more. breaking it up, right? Mm -hmm. And then I've got my crab here. Oh, you so have crab in there. Jumbo lump crab. Mm. It, it's time to go for the good stuff. This is our, our Christmas Eve, right? So why are you making the crab toast? You've been married mm -hmm. to your husband Ryan for four years. Yes. Four years you've been married. Yes. But wait a minute. Before you got married to Ryan. You had a secret romance. You didn't we tell anybody. We did, yes. Why? So we met at work. We did what you're not supposed to do. And I... That's what I keep telling Marco. We got to keep this on the low. <laughs> he was my producer. And I walked into our first production meeting, and I was like, oh, that's going to be a problem. Mm. <laughs> He's pretty handsome. He's so, very handsome. So we, we started a little secret romance, and it, it blossomed into more. And, here we are, and now we have a two-year-old daughter. Congratulations! And, yeah. So, it's, we have a lot of fun. Does your daughter like to cook? She does. She loves being in the kitchen with me. There, there we are. That was making Thanksgiving oh, dinner. Oh, I love. She always wants me to hold her, though, so my, my hip is always out with her on there. She's about 30 pounds now, so she's getting a little heavy. Oh, <laughs> and I've, I've learned to do everything with one hand now. Oh, see, that's uh, me with Chris. I love it. <laughs>
<laughs> so what right, is so, this? What are we doing so now? So the crab just goes on to some little toast here. I've got some baguette that I toasted up. Can I use this fork? Yes, get oh, in I there. Taste this crab meat. And then, I, how's the, can I ask him, how does the crab meat taste, yeah, guys? Phenomenal. Like oh, great. Good. Oh, you like this for the holiday? Yes. You like to make this it. for the holiday? Absolutely. So yes. you can make it, keep that crab meat mm. in the fridge, and then right before serving time, put it on the toast. And then you got to have a little holiday drink. So this is a holiday Negroni. It oh. is uh, made with rum and Campari and um, a velvet falernum, which oh, has I love this. like the allspice oh, wow. taste to it. And you can freeze a little uh, ring to put in there. Now we can't I'm, give we can't give our guest Terry and Kathy a drink, but Marco <laughs> always wants a little drinky drink. So, but Marco, did we say give, rum? You, and, and, I you love that. You have to do rum. Oh, we're gonna yeah. do it. There we go. <laughs> I think a rum buzz is like this nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. And then this is actually great to give as a gift. So you can put it in a bottle, mm -hmm. put a little bow on it, and give this as your holiday gift. Mm. I love this. Wait. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Woo! 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 That's strong. How warm you are. Woo! Whoa.